Today we are going to learn how to generate a power set for any given set. A set is a collection of unique objects and power set consists of all the possible sets you can generate from it. For example, if you have set consisting of A, B and C, a power set looks something like this. And the rule is if a set has n elements, a power set consists of 2 to the power n elements. This problem can also be asked in another format. You can be asked like if your input is input is 1, 2, 3, generate all possible combinations of it. So for 1, 2, 3, it will look something like this. And this could be an array or string. The key to solving this problem is realizing that it, this problem can be mapped to another problem of generating a binary numbers. So for example, we can generate the binary numbers from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. So for our case, uh, as the array length is 3, we need to generate the binary numbers from 0 to 7. And uh, based on that binary numbers, we can generate our power set. So here we have binary numbers from 0 to 7. And each one represents the a relevant character uh, in the input string. So for 0, 0, 1, our set will consist of 3. For 1, 0, 1, our result, will, result set will consist of 1 and 3. Uh, as the 0th position is 1 and 100th position, position is 1, so that will be 1, 3. So it's pretty simple once you realize that this problem can also be solved with the button generating binary numbers. And now the algorithm is pretty simple. What we can do is um, we need to generate the binary numbers from 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1, uh, 2 to the power n. So this loop, outer for loop, will go through from 0 to 7. And the inner for loop will go over 0 to n because at every number we need to iterate over 0th decimal, 10th decimal and 100th decimal and so forth. And this condition is very important if and when we want to add a character to our set from the given input. And this end allows us to do the bitwise operator. So whenever we find 1 in our binary representation, uh, we need to add a character from the input to our set. And once we iterate over the entire number, we add the result to our result array. So for example, if uh, I give 1, 2, 3 as an input to this function, I get the following output, which is expected. The other thing to realize is that the time complexity of this algorithm is n times 2 to the power n as the outer for loop runs 2 to the power n and the inner for loop will run n times where n is the length of your string or an array. I hope this video... Uh, also, I have provided an execution steps in here in the table format. So if you can't follow two inner for loops, if you are new to the nested for loops, this execution steps will help you understanding this algorithm much better. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a nice day.